All right, this is how this video is going to go. Either we're going to win this race and it's going to go normal and uh, I won't have to live with humiliation or we're going to DNF and be completely embarrassing and, and I'm just going to get canceled and I'm going to go just disappear like for three months like I did before. That's how this video is going to go, one way or the other. Either going to win or going to get embarrassed. Because we're going to Martinsville. This is the one track on this game where you should just win. I mean, the AI are going to kind of hold everyone up. There's going to be a lot of traffic and stuff like that. And so even starting at the back, I mean, there really is no excuse here. Uh, you don't even technically need a custom setup to really win this race. I mean, you can really just, you know, do your own thing and and, and go out there. So the the standings, as you guys can see, it is pretty tight. Uh, hopefully we will leave uh, Martinsville with the race win and that's going to be very important because as you guys know 36 races points will matter the whole way through every race matters we go to one of the uh harder races on this game and the harder racetracks which is richmond for the next uh race and so we're not going to do well here i already know that i really struggled in the career mode here and i feel like i'm a struggle in the championship season as well so uh you know denny hamlin if we take the lead at marsville he, he easily could take it right back at richmond so uh, it's just kind of those you know give and take kind of situations where you just got to be consistent throughout the entire season and take advantage when you can so uh, this is one where we can do that so let's do it martinsville 125 laps the blue emu maximum pain relief 500 and uh, we'll be starting from the back let's see you get this w Okay, uh, I see Denny Hamlin is fifth, so that is good news, or not good news, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Oh, Truex! Truex is starting at the back. I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. It's a long race, and I, I think, uh, why is Matt Kenseth so fast? I feel like I have to change that a little bit, um, in the, in the ratings, because I don't know, he's not supposed to be like, I don't know, he's been really fast in a lot of the races I've done. Uh, green flag is out. We have Christopher Bell and Martin Truex Jr. with us back here. But it is time to be nice and patient. Very, very patient. Let's just not damage the car. No DNFs. Plenty of time to make our way through the field. So uh, let's just get to the bottom here when we can. And let's just let Christopher Bell go by. And uh, we will be nice and easy here. I'm still in last place. No longer anymore. Okay. How many laps did I take? <laughs> Three laps, sorry. I was, I was in last for a good amount of time. In terms of, oh, no, oh, that didn't want to do that. Oh, okay. Oh, man, back to last we go. All right, maybe I should be a little bit more aggressive here. I can't be forward in that. A little bit front-end damage already, but, well, I mean, got to use the chrome horn a little bit, right? Underneath Christopher Bell, and we make that. Whoa. Very early in the run to be getting loose off the corner like that. That's a little bit worrying. For what worrying? My English worrying for me. Uh, I don't know if it was just because I had to really wait a lot. Maybe I had too much wheel in it, but uh, that was a little. Yeah, that's not a good sign if if we're getting loose off the corner on lap three of a run. Let's get around Truex. He has a long way to go to get up towards the front. We're just gonna try to make that a little bit longer for him. Joy Gase is up next. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And one of the weird things with the wheel is like when you get um, when we make contact with someone, you get hooked. You can't really get off of them. The force feedback behaves really weird, and like it just kind of turns your car to the uh, the other guy. And so that's my fault. But uh, he's okay. No damage. No harm done. Nice and patient. I want this to be literally the most patient race I've ever had in my life. I don't want to don't want to rough anyone up. I just want to be. Nice and easy. Yeah, as I say that, I go three wide. But, like, that's an easy three wide. You know, that's not like a... You know, that's not like a risky three wide. Let's get around Justin Haley here. We've got plenty of speed in the car. Just taking it nice and easy. Beautiful. Right on the bottom lane. I am still worried about the exit of four a little bit. So, I'm being very careful there. But, other than that, we're doing very, very well. We're pretty far back behind the leader, but it is okay. Time to run the second lane at Martinsville. I know in the career I use the second lane a lot. So this should help. Beautiful. Let's go underneath Ty Dillon now. And Timmy Hill is slowing up. Oh, again. It's like it's like when I uh, when I have to wait for someone in front of me, that's when it gets loose. I'm just getting on the throttle too quickly. So that's my bad. I can't really roll the corner. So uh, we have to just wait for Timmy Hill here to 
See if he can make a move. Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell is right behind us. He's been following us through. All right, there's Harrison Burton. No more Bobby Carter. God bless. All right, 113 lap. Wow, this is going to be a long race. Matt Kenseth is already on the same straightaway as us. But we have clean track coming. Let's get around Timmy Hill now. Nice and patient. There we go. Up to Eric Jones. Poor Eric. Lost his ride for 2021. And uh, we'll see where he goes. I don't know where he's going to go, to be honest. I don't think he's going to get as good of a ride as JGR, obviously. JGR is one of the top teams. But I don't know exactly where he's going. He's a very talented driver. Maybe too young, you know, to really blossom yet. But uh, we'll see. I don't want him going to the 48. I've seen that rumor. No. I, no, no. Personally, I don't, I don't want him at Hendrick. I think he needs... Uh, to go somewhere else. I think he has talent. I just don't think whoever takes that 48 has big shoes to fill, and I don't think Eric Jones, you know, popularity-wise, just name-wise, talent-wise maybe, but just, you know, to fill in the 48, I don't like that. Not not at the moment. That answers my question of why I feel so loose on the rear end. I mean, look at My right front tire is not even worn. It's been how many laps? Uh, 18 laps, and I'm 2% down on the right front tire. And my right rear is just absolutely destroyed compared to the right front. So that explains a lot <laughs> in terms of my car and why I feel very loose off of turn four. But uh, it, it turns very well, so hey, loose is fast. Look at all these lead lap cars. About 102 laps to go. And a ton of positions right here. Kyle Busch is your leader who is stuck in traffic pretty badly right now. He's going to use the second lane here. Nice and easy off the corner. I still can't really get on the throttle because I am so loose. Hello, Bowman. Going to slide our nose underneath you. And make the pass there. All right. Suarez up next. Then Bubba Wallace. Let's go back to the top. That's not what I meant by top. But, hey, we'll get a beautiful run off the corner. Start diamonding it. You know, just race the track like it's Dover. Just let's go all the way up here. And cut all the way down. And can't get on the throttle because I'm loose, but oh well. Uh, I got pinned behind a lap car. Harvick did as well. Harvick is just stuck. I'm sorry, Kevin. I, I apologize dearly. It is Nima check. Oh, my God. Okay, that's going to get worse and worse as the run goes on. Let's keep an eye on that. Car ahead is pitting. Wow, that's early. <laughs> that's very early. Okay. All right, pit stops, green flag stops are in full swing. I could go longer. I, I did that to win the race, honestly, at a in career. I don't really want to do it again. I want to, you know, I, I think it's just because of the way my tires are. I'm not having that problem. But uh, I'll come in next lap. I'll come in next lap. I want to stay on the same strategy as, like, everyone else. I don't want to get off that much, like, you know, how we did at Atlanta. So... Let's, uh, let's come in next lap. <sighs> How did I not DNF? Honestly. And how, how do I spin the car at Martinsville? How do I do that? All right, yeah, just time to cancel. So, like I like I said at the beginning of this video, time to take three months off. I'm, I I need to go hide. Um, I do I even repair the damage? Like, you know what? Let's make this fun. You know what? Yeah, I'll go a lap down. I'm gonna fight my way back from a lap down. Watch. That is a miracle. That I did not DNF that car. I honestly thought I was I was about to make a seven minute long video and another DNF at a track where we should have won. Now this is probably. I, no, actually, this is not probably. This is a very stupid idea to fix the damage right now. I mean, it's utterly ridiculous. But I have confidence in myself and the car, even though it's a little bit loose, uh, that we can make up the time. We are definitely a lap down. And we're just going to merge right onto the track. There we go. Okay, so we're one lap down, and Kyle Busch is about half a track ahead. Okay. Don't worry, we got this. Come on, let's go. Just please, whatever we do, or whatever this game decides to do, no cautions. I just don't, don't need a caution. All right, we have relaxed yellows on, so just no cautions. Do I have relaxed yellows or strict yellows? No, I have relaxed yellows. Yeah, yeah relaxed yellows. Okay. I forgot. I didn't change that from the uh, Road America race. All right, so that we actually might not have a lot of cautions this race unless there's a multiple car wreck. So 
That's good news. It's gonna be green for a lot of the a lot of the race. I'm gonna make my way back. Don't just watch this, guys. Just watch. Fully focused. Let's go. You know, as Jeff Gordon once did back in 2005, three laps down at Martinsville, ended up winning the race. One of the most legendary drivers uh, drives in NASCAR history, and he didn't do it by knocking people out of his way. But that's why he's a legend. Um, we're we're gonna get this done. We're not three laps down, but hey. A lap down with a 125 lap race, less than 100 laps to go, and still being able to come back and win the race, I would say that's pretty impressive. Just for all you youngsters out there, Gordon did not have things like uh, wave arounds and stuff back in 2005. He literally had to <laughs> he had to pass the leader, stay in front of the leader, get a caution, pass the leader again. Like That's how impressive that win was. No wave arounds, no lucky dogs since he was three laps down. He, you know, you only get the lucky dog when you're one lap down. So he literally fought his way back all the way and, uh, and won the race. So that's, it's honestly one of the most impressive drives ever. And that is with motivation as we are Gordon himself. We have to catch Kyle Busch. We're already making up the time. Kyle's not, no longer uh, half a lap ahead, so we're pushing. I went up on the wedge a little bit too on the pit stop, so I have a little bit more confidence exiting the corner. All right, I see Kyle Busch. I see him. Right, let's get onto the lead before a caution comes out. Let's get to the top lane here, be a little bit aggressive. Nice and easy exiting the corner, a little bit loose, but we're fine. Let's head back to the bottom. Beautiful. Kyle's actually on the top, and that's how he's making the passes. Well, let's go get him. Let's go three wide here. No, oh, I drove that in way too deep. Okay, my bad. It's all right, we're good, we're good. All right, Lugano is a lap down. Kyle, I want my lap back. Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? Come on, Logano, you can do it, you can do it, come on. I'm right, gonna go three wide again, we're gonna go three wide. Let's not drive it in too deep this time, just get the nose under there. Nice and easy. Beautiful. And use Bowman as the pick. And we are back on the lead lap, all right. Now time to drive around the entire track and catch him again. We have 72 laps to do it. Impressive stuff from Martin Truex. He's still on the lead lap after starting from the back up to P17. Oh my god, what? All right, maybe I just should not talk. I don't know where that came from. Pit stops are on the way. They're starting. There's Chase Elliott coming out of pit road. I'm going to run three or four more laps, or when Kenseth comes in, that's when I'll come down pit road. And the leaders are down pit road. All right, so let's let's come in this time. Let me not shift, and not wreck the car. Back it down, back it down. All right, there we go. Wasn't speeding. Uh, not gonna repair the two seconds of damage. Up on the wedge a little bit more, and uh, we should be good to go. This is gonna be one heck of a drive if we can fight all the way back. All right, beautiful pit stop. And we go on our way. We're P18. Uh, stops haven't cycled yet, so I don't know where the leaders are, like Kenseth and everyone. They're not near us. I don't see them, so. Are they back there? Oh, can't see a blue car. All right, 59 laps to go. All right, looks like Matt Benedetto has taken over the lead. We are 12.4 seconds behind him. All right, we have, we have time. We can make the, this gap. I think we could do it. I think we can still win this race, lads. Problem is, to Benedetto, look at the amount of clear track he has. He has basically a full corner of clear track while we are in traffic. So that's going to be very difficult to catch him through there. Let's get around Elliot. We got to use the top side a little bit more. So Elliot and Suarez. And when we get the chance, we'll go to the bottom. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Maybe I went too much off on the wedge, but I don't think so. I think. Overall, we'll be faster. There we go. As long as I have more security in the rear, uh, a little bit tight there, but we'll find. Beautiful Nema check. Be the pick on the bottom. Come on, Reddick. Come on. Oh. Oh my God. I thought Reddick. I thought Nema check was gonna go high. I really did. All right, we're just gonna move Harvick out of the way. Okay. You know, sometimes you guys could be a little bit aggressive there to get the job done. There we go. Hey, look who it is. First time we've seen him all race. Denny Hamlin. Not up towards the front, surprisingly. So that's the first time in a while. We're gonna get around Harrison Burton here. And oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? 
That should be a caution. Ryan Newman and Austin Dillon are just sitting in the middle of the track. Is the caution going to come out? Is the caution going to come out? Oh my, what a, what a situation we have here. The caution did not come out. Two cars sitting in the middle of the track and there's no caution. Man, relaxed yellows or something else, I'll tell you. Oh my, what is this? Okay, well, we got picked. That's what happened. Oh my, four wide? Okay, okay, okay. Losing too much time now. Look at Jimmy having a good run. P6? a boy, Jimmy Johnson. Back to some old form here. We're 8.9 seconds behind Kenseth. We're on track to catch them. I think pretty quickly. Not, not gonna, we're going to have plenty of laps to go once we get to the leaders. As long as I just don't spin the car out. Let's get around Jimmy. Let's not hit him in the rear. Just wait, 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 wait. No, nope, a little bit loose there. Couldn't get it done. All right, we'll try it again. Enter high. Still there. And we'll just pass him on the outside. Beautiful. Cole Custer having a fantastic run. Lap traffic. Where are we going to go here? Let's try to pass Custer. Bowman, go up. Go up, Bowman. Nope, he's not going to go up. All right. We follow. Split the middle right here. And we're going to let Jimmy get back underneath us. There you go, Jimmy. We gave you an extra spot. Hopefully you can run the top five. Uh, Quinn Huff, get out of the way. You're slowing everyone up. Come on. Uh, okay, there we go. All right. Now I get some clean track. Still 8.9 seconds back. 40 laps to go. How many times have we lapped Timmy Hill? I swear I've been around to like six times already this race. All right, we only got three guys ahead of us. It is Kenseth, Kyle Busch, and Matt DiBenedetto. It's been a long journey, but it's time to get the job done. All right, we gotta make quick work of this live traffic. I can't afford to stay back here the whole time, so we're gonna get underneath Bell here, try to take Logano out of the equation as well. And that should work, so that should be two down. Yep, all right, that just leaves Dylan. And how many times have we seen Nemechek as well? All right, Nemechek, let's just go. Thank you very much. All right, come on, closing the gap. No, 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 I wanted that to go green the whole, we went green the entire race. What was the, co okay, if Ryan Newman and whoever else was sitting in the middle of the track, if that's not a caution, I need to know what this was. What, what, what brought out the caution here? 14 cars on the lead lap. Uh, we'll come down pit road, repair the damage and everything. Fall back to P12, okay. That's a lot of spots to fall back. All right, so, unfortunately, I really wanted to complete the journey of coming all the way back from over a lap down and, and getting to the lead, but uh, we don't get what we, what we want. I don't think there's gonna be another caution. Oh, we're three wide, I didn't even realize that. I don't think there's gonna be another caution. So we're gonna have to go from here on out. Let's see what we could do. Hello, Denny Hamlin. I definitely want to put you three wide and put you further back. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go backwards, Denny. See you later. All right, we need to get to the bottom lane, though. Come on. Let's just keep rolling around the top until the bottom opens up. Jimmy, oh. Nope, can't force my way in there. I'm just gonna get Jimmy out of the way. Hello, Reddick. How are you, my fr good friends? Okay. Got loose. We're going to get underneath him now. Beautiful. How many laps we got? Say 25. We got 25? All right. I was close. Uh, this is going to be much tougher without the lap traffic. 23 laps to go. Just got to stay on the bottom and just try to move these guys out of the way. So we're P8. Luckily, Denny Hamlin's having a horrible race. So point-wise, this is going, going great. We just need a little bit more. Kyle Busch, please go through. Yeah. I'll follow you right through, my friend. Good job, Kyle. Underneath Blaney. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Now, Kyle, I'm going to need that spot. No, oh, what a beautiful exit. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, Kyle. All right, Cole Custer's up next. Come on, get the run. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful scenes, glorious emotion. 20 laps to go. William Byron is up next. Slide up in front of Custer. Let's set up the move on Byron. Try to force me high. Nope, not gonna take it. Just gonna set this up. Inside. You got room. You're clear. There's the run. 
And I'm going to go down low. I'm not going up high. Thank you very much, Willie. All right. Keselowski. Oh, boy. I was not lifting there. <laughs> I did not want to lift. We're just going to drive it up out of the corner. And beautiful. It's a P3. Hey, hey. There's Matt Kenseth. I've been looking for you all race, my friend. 18 laps to go. And we're going to be one spot away now. The Benedetto bites the dust. Still there. And Matt Kenseth is the only one left. Nice and patient. Oh, wow. I hit the wall. All right. But it's been a long journey to get here. 109 laps later. And it looks like after I get loose, we're finally going to get into the lead. Let's just set it up here. That was a little bit too high. But we got the run off the corner to the inside. And that is the pass for the lead. 15 to go. Let's get the job done. Oh, we have a situation here. Green flag stops. They can't make it on fuel for some reason, but we can. I said I wanted to be on the same strategy, but I'm not pinning. <laughs> it's not, I have 16 laps of fuel left. It, it's not happening. White flag lap. Looks like Chase Elliott's going to finish second. He has not come down pit road. So he's going to get the advantage of all this mayhem. Uh, Kurt Busch has not, also not come down pit road, so he's going to get the advantage. After a long drive back. Oh. We win at Martinsville, we'll get the job done. That's what we were supposed to do. Thank you very much. All right, let's go. Guys, I cannot find the caution. I'm looking for it. It is it's between 84 and 106. It is not here. Can I find it? No. Somewhere here? No, I can't find it, guys. I don't know what brought out the caution. Elliott second, Kurt Busch third, Harvick, Byron, Kenseth, Bush, DeBandetto, Custer, Blaney, Reddick, Suarez, Kozlowski, Johnson, Hamlin, 15. Oof, big time for him. Uh, Logano, Stenhouse, Almirola, Bell, Busher, Bowman, Truex. So a lot of our main rivals had bad races. And there we go. We have a 15-point gap at the top with Kevin Harvick in third, Denny Hamlin second. I will take it. We got the job done at Martinsville. And time to probably lose <laughs> lose that gap at Richmond. Oh, that's going to be a tough race. That's going to be that, guys. I will see you guys later. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter Instagram if you're not already. Check the links in the description below for anything that you guys might be interested in. Fanatec or GTO Mega Shares. And I'll see you guys later. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We'll be back with career mode tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. And peace out.